Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Birdologist. Hello guys. Let's talk about a medical emergency, which if not treated promptly can be life-threatening. That is, upper gastrointestinal bleed. Upper GI bleed, refers to, bleeding that occurs in the upper part of the digestive system, which includes the esophagus, stomach, and the first part of the small intestine, called duodenum. Causes of upper GI bleeding can vary, but some common ones include 1. Peptic ulcers, which may develop, on the lining of the stomach or the upper part of the small intestine. When these ulcers bleed, it causes an upper GI bleed. 2. Gastritis, which is inflammation of the stomach lining, that can lead to bleeding. 3. Esophageal varices, these are the swollen veins in the esophagus, often associated with chronic liver disease. 4. Mallory Weiss tears, tears in the mucous membrane that lines the esophagus and stomach, often caused by severe vomiting. 5. Esophagitis, which is inflammation of the esophagus, which can be caused by various factors, including acid reflux. 6. Gastrointestinal cancers, tumors in the stomach, esophagus, or duodenum can cause bleeding. Symptoms of an upper GI bleed may include 1. Vomiting blood. It can be bright red, or have a coffee ground appearance. 2. Dark, tarry stools called melena, which indicate the presence of digested blood. 3. Weakness, and lethargy. 4. Lightheadedness, or fainting due to blood loss. Diagnosis of upper GI bleed, typically involves, endoscopy. In which a flexible tube with a camera is passed via mouth into the stomach, to examine the digestive tract. Other associated workup, which might be sent include 1. Complete blood count 2. Urea, creatinine and electrolytes 3. Liver function tests 4. PTAPTTINR 5. Stool for occult blood, in cases where patient has black colored stool The treatment of upper gastrointestinal bleeding, depends on the cause and severity of the bleeding Immediate medical attention is crucial, and treatment often involves a combination of supportive measures, medications, endoscopic interventions, and, in some cases, surgery. General measures and supportive care, include Stabilizing the patient, which is the first priority. This may involve intravenous fluids, to replace lost blood volume, and maintain blood pressure. Blood transfusions may be necessary, to replace red blood cells and improve oxygen carrying capacity. Medications which might be required in upper GI bleed, include 1. Proton pump inhibitors or 2. H2 blockers, may be prescribed to reduce stomach acid production, and promote healing of ulcers. 3. In certain cases, antacids may be used. Endoscopic interventions Endoscopy is a common diagnostic and therapeutic procedure for upper GI bleeding. It involves the use of a flexible tube with a camera, to visualize the digestive tract. Endoscopic interventions may include Injection therapy, injecting medications, to stop bleeding. Thermal therapy, using heat, to cauterize bleeding vessels. Clipping, placing clips, to close off bleeding vessels, or ulcers. In some cases, interventional radiology procedures, like transcatheter embolization, may be used to inject medication, into blood vessels, to stop bleeding. Surgery may be necessary if endoscopic interventions and other measures are not successful, or if the bleeding is severe. Surgical options may include 1. Removing a bleeding tumor 2. Repairing a perforation, or 3. Tying off bleeding blood vessels Addressing the underlying cause of the bleeding is essential. This may involve 1. Treating Helicobacter pylori infection, if present. 2. Managing liver disease, or 3. Addressing other conditions, contributing to bleeding. If someone is suspected to have an upper GI bleed, it is essential to seek medical attention immediately, as rapid intervention can significantly improve outcomes. If you have any question or query, please leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gertologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. 
And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.